Hi everybody and welcome to our next advanced video on incident tracking. Last time we discussed that there were three more advanced grouping strategies that you can use and configure on your system. The first one was based on relation learning. We explained that in the last video. In this video, we're going to focus on statistical grouping. In the next video, we'll be focusing on grouping on a custom property. All right, so statistical grouping, what's that all about? Well, here the idea is that we're going to group alarms on devices that belong to the same view or that belong to the same location. Now, of course, if you want to do this, then data miner needs to know the location of your devices. So you would need to specify that using our IDP functionality. All right, without further ado, let's go into some details. The configuration settings for statistical grouping can be, find in, can be found in the hidden configuration file. You have it in the Skyline Data Miner Analytics folder and it's called config.xml. If you open up that XML, you will find two occurrences of a statistical visitor configuration. One is related to grouping based on the location of devices. The second one is related to grouping on the view structure in your surveyor tree. You immediately recognize a few of the tags from other configurations. First, there's the enable tag. This allows you to switch on or off the specific grouping strategy. If you want to switch it off, simply put this through to false. You will also recognize the accessibility tag. This is something that appears in all of our configurations, and it's something that you can actually ignore. It has to do with backward compatibility. We've added it long ago, and it kind of remained there. So please just ignore that. Next, we have our threshold field. And that's really the key of statistical grouping. What's the idea behind this threshold field? Well, assume that you have a location, say a certain building in the Netherlands, I don't know. And assume that 90% of your devices in the Netherlands, in that building, have alarms. Then maybe there's not really a problem with the devices. Maybe the root cause of the problem is that there's something wrong with the building, right? Maybe the cooling is not working. So in this case, it makes sense to group those alarms together. However, if only 5% of the devices in this building in the Netherlands have alarms, then probably the root cause is not related to the building. Then probably it really has to do with the devices. That's the idea behind statistical grouping. If you set this threshold to 0.75, then we will group alarms on devices at the same location, but only if at least 75% of the devices in that location have problems. Else, we do not group. There's the similar ID for the view property. Here, the threshold by default is set to 0.25, but you can tweak, change it how you want. What does this mean? Well, it means that we will group alarms on devices in the same view if at least 25% of the devices in that view have alarms. That's the idea. Let me clarify this with some examples. Assume that we are in the following setup. We have a building with a floor and there's a room in there and there's an aisle in there. And that aisle contains two racks, rack one and rack two. Now assume that rack one has two devices, device A and device B. And assume that rack two also has two devices, C and D. Now assume first that A and C are in alarm. In that case, 50% of your devices are in alarm. But 50% is less than the configured 75%. So in this case, we will not group the alarms. On the other hand, what if there are alarms on A and B? Well, A and B both belong to rack one. So basically 100% of the devices in rack one have alarms. Now, 100% is more than 75%. So yes, we will group those alarms. Finally, what if we have alarms on A, B, and C? Well, in that case, 75% of the devices under aisle one have alarms. And 75%, of course, is greater or equal to this configured threshold. So again, we will group the alarms. 
That's the idea behind statistical grouping. All right, let me conclude the video with a nice demo. I'm actually going to show you two things. The first thing will be on Zine. There I will demonstrate the statistical grouping based on location. I made a few tweaks though here in the configuration to switch off statistical grouping based on view to make sure it doesn't interfere with my demo. Then we will show another demo. And here you can really follow along because you will be using the accompanying package from the catalog that you've installed specifically for this course. There we have a view with some devices and you can play around with these devices to see if statistical grouping is behaving as you would expect. All right, so let's dive into this. I'm going to take my data miner, so my zine system to begin with, and we're going to look at these two identical setups. We have rack one as a setup and we have rack two as a setup. Now, at first glance, these setups are completely identical, right? But of course, there's more to it. Namely, in this first setup, I have configured the location of my devices. Simply go to the properties of your device. And you will see here that if I scroll down, that IDP is enabled here and that the device location is specified. The, the device apparently is in rack one of room five of on floor two of some building in Amsterdam. All right. Now, the second rack, we have not done any location configurations. As you can see, the IDP is switched off and no location properties are specified. OK, now let's see this in action. Let me create some fake alarms on rack one. Now, we know that grouping based on location only requires that 75% of the devices at the given location will go in alarm. So I went a bit over the top here and I created alarms on all the devices. That, of course, should also work. But 75% of the devices would have been enough. OK, so now let's see if Dataminer is able to group this. And yes, it is able to group this, right? Let me toggle. I switch off the grouping. I switch on the grouping. And indeed, uh, Dataminer groups these alarms because, well, all the devices are at the same location in the Amsterdam hub uh, on floor two of building one, room five in the middle aisle, rack zero. OK, all right, let me clean up my stuff. Next, we're going to go to rack two. This is the exact same setup, except that we do not have location information specified. Again, I'm going to create the alarms. This time, data miner should not be able to group them based on location. Let's check it out. Ah, incident tracking is already enabled. Let me toggle so you can see it. Yeah. And what do you see? You see that indeed data miner was unable to group all of the alar alarms together. It was, however, able to group some alarms together because some alarms happened on the same element, the BC Arista, and there was also a parameter group. OK, let me clean up everything. And now let me go to the demo that is contained in the accompanying catalog package. All right, if you have installed the accompanying package for this course, you will have a view called statistical view grouping. Now, remember, by default, the threshold here is set to 0 0.25, meaning that you will group alarms on the devices in this view if at least 25% of those devices are in alarm. OK, let's first create some alarms on just two devices. This is my first device. And I've set an alarm template so that when you switch this to HD, you will get an alarm. Voila, that's our first alarm. Now, let me also create an alarm on the second device. Voila, that's also done. OK, now let's see if we're able to group those alarms. I'm going to activate automatic incident tracking. And you see, nothing happens. Let's add an alarm on a third device. If I do that, then 30% of the devices under this view are in alarm. The threshold is set to 25%, so we should be able to group this. And indeed, you see, the 
alarm grouping grouped those tree alarms based on the fact that they belong to the same view called statistical view grouping. And that's indeed the name of this view. All right, that's everything I wanted to show you. I'm looking forward to the next video where we'll be grouping alarms based on a custom property. All right, keep it going or almost through the entire content. See you next time.